Good morning, you guys. Juan is taking Aubrey to see his family today so that I can have a kid-free, almost full day to get stuff done. So let's go ahead and be productive. So first up, I am making myself a little kind of frappuccino type drink. <laughs> I don't make this all of the time, although it seems like that because you guys see me make it in a lot of my videos, but it is just something that I do to enjoy my day a little bit more. I am using Javi, which I did a video on a little while ago. It is coffee concentrate, and so it has like 30 servings in that tiny bottle, so make sure to check out that other video. I have an affiliate link in case you want to save some money and try out Javi for yourself. But after making my little frappuccino thing, I figured I would get started at just kind of writing my to-do list down and enjoy breakfast before things got a little hectic. So first up, I really wanted to work on my bullet journal. I've done a number of bullet journal videos in the past, and this day I was hoping to get my whole journal complete. But as you guys will see, that really wasn't the case. I really only finished the first like initial intro pages as well as three months worth of like bullet journal planning. And this will work for me. I pretty much have it planned out up until December. And then the days after making this video, I did end up like writing out some more months. So this will be completed eventually, but I really like bullet journaling. It allows me to be a little bit creative, practice my calligraphy every once in a while, which still needs a lot of work, but I get to kind of color and just kind of create my own planner rather than just using like a store-bought one, which are also fine. Let me know in the comments what you guys prefer to use. If you like to kind of be artsy and create your own like to-do lists and calendars, or if you just like to use a store-bought, you know, notepad or whatever to do your to-do list or plan out your week. But if this seems like something that you would like to do for yourself, like I said, I have a few videos on it, as well as like talking about different pages that have worked for me in the past, pages that I would definitely use again, pages that I would definitely not use again because it was just a waste of paper. So go ahead and check out those videos. I'll link them down below and probably up in the cards as well in case you guys are interested. So obviously this video is going live much later than October 1st, so my goal tracker definitely will not be filled up the way I would have liked it to. And actually, to be honest, I've been slacking on my goals for the last couple of months. Ever since getting pregnant, I've just been like tired and I haven't been drinking as much water. Like all of the things that I was doing so well before I got pregnant that I should do while I'm pregnant. I've just been so unmotivated to do and I don't know I could really use some prayers that I get back on like my water drinking goals and just kind of being healthier especially in anticipation of giving birth like I said the last couple of months it's totally been a bust like I haven't even been filling out those pages so I'm gonna you know today as I'm doing my voiceover I'm gonna make it a point to fill out my goals for October and just finish off this month strong. Let me know some of the things that you guys struggle with. Um, is like drinking water something that you just have a hard time, like have to force yourself to do, or does it come easy to you? What are some of the things that you guys struggle with and succeed at each month? Also, you guys get a little glimpse at my little pages for planning YouTube videos. If you guys have any suggestions on what you would like to see or what some of your favorite videos of mine have been and you'd like more of, 
let me know those down below in the comments. That will really help, especially when baby Jack arrives. Um, I'm a little worried. I've never had a channel with a newborn, so I'm hoping that I won't disappoint you guys and that I will continue to produce content that you enjoy. So just let me know in the comments. Um, I might have to take a couple days off after giving birth, depending on how my health is. But anyways, um, I will write those ideas down in my bullet journal. But let's go ahead and move on. I decided to stop at December, like I mentioned earlier, because it was just getting too late in the day and I had way too much to do in a short amount of time. So the next thing that I did was start beating up my butter for my buttercream that I was going to be making for my brother's daughter's baptismal cake. Uh, I'll show you a glimpse of how it turned out later on in this video. So in preparation to make this buttercream, I did set out more butter than I was actually going to use because I was planning on filling up my little butter crock that you guys see here. So speaking of butter, I would like to thank Sweeze for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Sweeze is a small company that sells modern kitchenware. In addition to dinnerware and baking dishes, they sell these adorable butter crocks. I have been longing to have one for such a long time. And they offer them in a variety of colors to fit your kitchen aesthetic. The butter crock allows you to keep room temperature butter nice and fresh on your counter ready whenever you are. To use the crock, you just pour some cold water into the base to the water line and then press one to one and a third sticks of softened butter into the bell with the back of a spoon, making sure not to leave any air holes. Then you just insert the bell into the bottom of the crock and the water creates an airtight seal to keep your butter very fresh. You will want to make sure to replace the water every couple of days and keep the crock away from warmer areas. I love my crock and my family does too. I've already had to refill it twice. It really makes buttering toast a whole lot easier because I'm not dealing with cold butter or having to wait for the butter to get soft again. It's just great. Again, I'd like to thank Sweeze for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I will put all of their information down below in the description box if you'd like to get one of these for yourself or check out some of Sweeze's other amazing products. Back to my buttercream though, my butter had been beating for at least 5 minutes, probably longer, and it was time to add in the other ingredients. I let that go for a few minutes and in that time I decided to clean up my bullet journal area. I just knew that I wasn't going to finish any more pages that day because of my to-do list and I was happy with that. I at least got the next three months kind of planned out and that will be good enough for now. So I just tidied that up, put it away so that I could deal with it another day and by that time my frosting was nice and creamy it was time to add in the vanilla and the heavy whipping cream and let it beat again for a few minutes to get extra smooth and nice and fluffy in the past i've actually made my frosting like the day that i'm planning on decorating my cakes 
but I realized that creates too much additional stress for me. And so I've just kind of come to embrace making my frosting ahead of time, storing it in the fridge, letting it kind of get too firm. And then the day that I plan on decorating, I take it out of the fridge, let it defrost a little bit and beat it up again and it's good to go. And I think I'm just gonna embrace this from now on. So that's what I did here. I'm packaging it up and I will be decorating the cake in the next couple days. Then it was time to secure the glitter of Aubrey's Dollar Tree butterfly costume using some hairspray. And this actually works pretty well. We got this thing at Dollar Tree just kind of as a really cheap Halloween costume. I don't really go all out. I've never really have. And we were planning on going to a Halloween party that night. So I just wanted to make sure the glitter wasn't going to get everywhere since we were going to be at someone's house. And I just didn't want to ruin their, their home with a bunch of unwanted glitter. So the hairspray kind of keeps the glitter in place a lot better than if you did nothing at all. The next thing I decided to do was work on my brother's cake topper for his daughter's baptismal cake. We wanted to say God bless Sloan, which is her name. And I thought that having the like wording be white on like a wood grain kind of background would look really nice. So that's what I'm doing here. And I think it turned out really cute. One of the annoying things though was the O in Sloan's name didn't have like, it wasn't cut out the way it was supposed to. So I had to work my little magic and just, I solved the problem by cutting out some of the wood grain contact paper and placing it on top. And you really couldn't tell there was any problem to begin with. Then I just took a little skewer and some more wood grain contact paper and secured it to the back just so that it would kind of blend in a little bit better, but honestly, I don't think they would have cared if there was a stick showing on the back. And trimmed off the extra little pieces, and then we were good to go. So here's a little glimpse at the final product of the cake with the cake topper. My sister-in-law wanted a semi-naked cake and this was my first time making one. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I love the greenery. She added that. I didn't really touch the greenery at all. Um, one of her friends put it on there and overall like I think it all really worked well together and they were really pleased so I'm thankful for the opportunity to make my little niece her baptismal cake and welcome her into our faith. So last up, we have getting ready for this Halloween party <laughs> that we were planning on going to. I decided not to put on any makeup just because I touch my face way too often and I really just didn't want to deal with it. It's really not me, but I did do my hair. Um, I just kind of curled it and clipped some of it back to stay out of my face because that just gets me annoyed when it's in my face. I'm just, you know, super laid back. As you guys can tell in most of my videos, it's ponytails and no makeup and that's just me. So 
Uh, if you don't like it, I guess you can check out someone else's channel. But I finished with my hair and threw on my little Halloween shirt that matched Juan in some sense. Aubrey wanted to get in on the pictures too, so I had to make sure to snap a little shot of her. And then we were good to go. So I just grabbed my toffee out of the freezer. We are ready to go. I actually made this in the last video, so if you guys wanna see how I made this toffee, go ahead and check that out after this one. I'd like to thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that it motivates you to be productive, get stuff done on your to-do list, but give yourself some grace. Done is better than perfect. That is definitely something I had to embrace with my bullet journal today, but you know what? I did my best. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you guys are new. I would love to have you stick around and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.